Coming live from the frozen tundra, a.k.a. the greatest state known to man since 1848. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said it. I went there. It's Wisconsin. I know you guys sleeping on us, but don't forget. And you know, all you guys think we do is drink beer, eat cheese, watch the Green Bay Packers, greatest franchise in all major sports. I don't know, shoot animals. I mean, nah. I guess that is kind of all we do here in Wisconsin. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, I guess I'll get back to the topic. Uh, my name is Greg Von Rudin, and I uh, just want to let you guys know what you're about to get into. Uh, one of the best podcasts I've ever heard, hands down. I mean, it's great from the top. You know, it's just great. It's perfect. But uh, let's get back to it. Uh, so kick back, you know, put your feet up in the air, you know, crack cold beer, PBR preferably, and let's get into it. Because you are listening to Hardly Heroes. Welcome to the Hardly Heroes Podcast. High above the city, they shine in my spotlight. Commissioner on the rooftop, double H in the night sky. For the sidekicks, we fight for the right crosses we throw. For the ninjas, we injure revenge on a foe. From crime alleys to radioactive insects, genetic mutations. Weapon X rejects are infinite, arson and crisis. The walls are civil, but secret. Here come Buddy, Manny, and Aaron, blaring through your speakers. Yeah, totally heroes. It's clobbering time. Welcome to Hardly Heroes, a podcast dedicated to movies, TV, and everything geek related. I'm your host, Buddy. I'm Manny. And I'm Beep. Yeah, that's the clock. Beep, boop, beep. Pop, beep, pop, beep, pop, boop. Yeah. So, how are you guys doing? I'm doing good. Doing oh, real good. This is weird not doing the, the, no, it's the a, beginning part of the show. The it's, shoot it's thy shit. First segment. Weather looks like fucking doomsday out there. Oh, God, Traffic and weather good. on the fives. Oh, no. It's raining cats and dogs out there, guys. Better watch out. <laughs> now, here's another track from it. your favorite, man. Barry Manilow. Whoa, whoa. Don't don't knock on Barry Manilow. The I'm man. not. It's just that type He's of... The, Man, the man, it's that Barry type Manilow. of weather where you put on some Barry Manilow and you get to bone it. The big BM. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a different thing. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a big bowel movement. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Took a big old every morning. BM. <laughs> wow. There we go. Oh man. So Welcome I, to the podcast about poop. Yeah. 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 Wait. No, that's not today. No. That was that was ne- next week. Yes, next week. Next week. That's I don't. What are we talking weeks. about today? I don't even remember. Um, we got some stuff on the um, on the docket. Oh, on episode ninety. Oh, is it already? Yeah. Jesus, keeps on going. Ugh, I was talking with a uh, friend of the show, Nick. Oh, yes. How's and he doing? It's like he's an OG. doing real good. Yeah. I was kind of laughing because uh, he was talking to me about the Capeless Crusaders. Oh, okay. He's listening to them too. Yeah, he was like, hey, man, I was kind of looking, seeing that you're following, you know, the Capeless Crusaders. And he's like, do you know the Azorian one? And I said, yeah. And he's like, I went to high school with him. And I was like, shut up. Like, that's pretty Is crazy. he the guy with the short hair, the no, glasses? No, very long oh, Very hair. long, curly hair? Yeah. Okay. So I thought that was kind of cool, how it all oh, comes man. full circle. So yeah. What, what, what high school is this? Where What location? Not Elk Grove. Like, Galt, what, is that Galt, Galt High no, School? he went to Lodi. Oh, even worse. Oh. No, I think now. Galt's way worse than Lodi. Oh, no, you're right. Sounds no. all bad from here. Yeah. I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm going to get a lot of hate. It's all now. bad. We all, got some listeners. In. I actually thought about Nick uh, coming home today because they had all the food trucks out in the parking lot on Lake Washington. And I was like... Lake Could, Washington, the, the street that's in front of Lowe's. Oh, I was like, what the fu- what lake are you going by? <laughs> He's not doing that anymore. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. I know. I, was I didn't even get a chance those. to eat a sandwich. I had the test sandwich, but I never got to see the truck actually up and going. Oh, uh, okay, got it. But yeah, they're kind of done with that now. Oh. I was a little sad too. It's too Wanted bad. to have a little hardly heroes event. I was gay. I thought we were gonna get cater catering from. I know, right? I was like, I'm gonna pull some strings, See? act like I'm important, like people oh, know who yeah. I am. We got a <laughs> catering truck here. I mean, you guys do remember I did get you know noticed in South Carolina. That's true by a family member. Yes. That, well, oh, you don't always have to point that out. Well, but. I'm sorry, but it's you know truth. So, <laughs> did you guys get my text? About the photo, 
Oh my god. Oh yeah. So what is what, what? the fuck? I've been so, racking my brain so about this. So this is a text that we got this morning at like eight o'clock about eight in o'clock. the morning, yeah. and it was a it was a picture of a of a napkin. Yes, a napkin. With somebody wrote on a napkin. I yeah, did. it's a legit napkin. It is a legit. It's not napkin. a fake napkin. Nope. Because at not first I was like, is nothing. it a piece of paper? And then I kind of look closer. No. I'm like, no, it's the napkin. Napkin. Nap- and it's Nine. not your handwriting. It is my handwriting, actually. That is my handwriting. I thought it was funny. You were, uh, you, okay. So, I thought, okay, I got you. So I actually, this actually happened on Sunday, but I wanted to hold on to it and send it to you guys. So it was like nice and fresh in your minds. Yeah. Or else you, Aaron would be like, what text? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what do you, uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, you, when did you send it? I, Why that, you send me photos of napkins? You guys, that I is. I don't like ho- napkins. Those are horrible impressions of me. <laughs> I feel like it is spot on. <laughs> Boom, right on point. Ugh, you know what I mean? It's whatever. like George Lucas. Okay. <laughs> so this fucking napkin. The napkin. Yes. Says. Yes. Uh, sorry, let me pull it up. See, I'm not, I'm not a handwriting expert, and I didn't know. You didn't know Manny's that was mine, hand- huh? No, I've never well, seen yeah. your handwriting. I mean, who writes nowadays? You just you know? email or text us, right? Exactly. I know your text and email handwriting. It's yes. just, it's like in Times Roman. It's, yeah, I was gonna say Arial, <laughs> eight point. Oh, yeah, that's true. Eleven, dude. In 11. bold, in bold. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> Georgia. Okay, so the, Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. so the napkin says, the napkin says, oh, what does the napkin if say? I was an asshole like you, I would do something really fucked up to your car, oh. dot, dot, dot. Oh, those dot, dot, that dot, 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 that's ominous. That's the best part. I thought part. three dots means you want a bone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who told you that? Where? That's well, universal rule. Is no. that why you wear a shirt with three dots all the time? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I want a bone. Yeah. Three dots. Boom. I want a bone. That, no, that means you want to continue the There's conversation. Like something going. Yeah, something. Is else that ellipsis? No. Is I, it a lip? Anyway, it was from the know. office. That's oh, what I stole it from. Oh, okay, there okay, it is. I it. like you. Dot. 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 Got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah. All no. That, that, that. Thank you. Um. Yeah, because the dot dot dot, that's ominous. Mm-hmm, it's you, like, what's gonna, is there some, like, what's going on? What's, what's going, going on? on? Uh, Sorry. okay, so what happened? So, on Sunday, go out to dinner with my lovely, lovely wife, Robin. <laughs> yes. And, uh, we go to, uh, what's the Italian place downtown? Uh, Buco de Beppo. No, it starts with a P. That's over in ordinary. Um, uh, P- pastrami. Oh, by pa- Paisano's. Paisano's. There yeah. it is. We go to Paisano's. Paisano's. And I had to circle the block he looking can do for that. some parking Buddy lot. can do that because he's Italian. Yeah, right. Paisanos. There, Paisanos. No, 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 buddy, not you. Buca de Beppo. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that was a good one, actually. <laughs> uh, no, okay, so I have to circle the block because I can't find parking. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I come back around to the same spot that I was when I originally started. Sure. And there was a parking spot. And yes. And I'm like, sweet. Score. I'm going to get it. And I'm actually at a... I had a stop sign, and the parking is just behind me to my right, just barely. Sure. So I'm going to reverse it right into the parking spot. Um, there's Flip this... and then reverse it. Your shit. It revert it. I can't do Missy oh, Elliott. Missy Elliott, anyway, yeah. yeah. I can't there do it. Go. I was nice. like, so I couldn't do it. I tried to Flip help. Flip it and revert. Anyways. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm sitting at the stop sign, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just reverse it yeah. into the parking spot because I'm a little further uh, forward. And I'm looking around, making sure I'm not going to hit any cars. Oh, and no. um, But out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody on the <laughs> left side of the stop sign fr- coming from the other street. Got it. Uh, just starts flipping a bitch in the middle of oh. the street, right in front of uh, Paisano's, that, that corner. Um, and then just starts backing up at the same time. Um, so... I'm backing up. He's backing up. I don't really know if I'm like, is this guy really going to try to take you in? I'm in the BMW. Uh, yeah. Okay. But, but both are still. That's the still, other one was yeah. in a BMW too. the guy that. The oh, so it's a battle of the BMW. It's BMW on BMW. So crime. I start to back up and he's backing up. He's just going. He's not not worried like about hitting cautious, anybody's car. And just... I'm like, this guy's really I'm like, I'm going to keep going because this guy's not going to hit my car. Right. He's just going to keep going. He's going to keep going. He's get, he's fucking close inches. Wow. And I'm like, are you shit. fucking serious? <laughs> so this guy pulls up. And he's at this point, he's right next to my car. So we're looking at him, and I'm like, is this dude really gonna do it? <laughs> Big fucking dumb looking fucking Mexican. I'm Mexican, so I could say that. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, and he's staring at me with his mouth all wide open, like, Duh, you know, like his some dirty stupid fucking fuck. mouth breather. Like, and I'm Eli like, are Manning? you fucking? And then he just goes, and he 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 takes a parking. I'm like, you know what? I, we can get out of the car right now. I was like, no, 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 it's okay. 
luckily, I had a parking spot right around the corner. Perfect. Like three, par- literally three uh. parking spots away. Park and this guy were running into each other. And oh, you could shit. see his face like, fuck, I got to see this dude that I just oh, stole yeah. this from. And yeah. I'm thinking to myself, as I'm walking up to this guy, I'm like, <laughs> what am I going to tell this guy that is going to cut deep? I want to cut so hard. I hope I you go- have a great day. I love that one. I'm going to keep that one for later. I know. It's pretty um, good. And as I'm approaching, I've been like, "How's my parking spot, you son of a bitch?" Yeah. I almost said that. I almost no. There was another thing. Hold on, hold How on. How's my dick so, taste? <laughs> <laughs> so many good ones. I got to write them down. Oh, it's okay. Um, okay, so as he's approaching, he's with his wife. Ah, eh, she's probably a little scrapper too, another Mexican. <laughs> but uh, for um, but then I see his daughter, and I see his daughter is probably uh, like eight to ten years old. Not and an I'm excuse. Like, I don't know. I don't know. There was my dad had got into a lot of confrontational uh, um, situations when I was a kid. Okay, and I feel like it was kind of fucked up for me. It kind of fucked in my head a little bit. Okay, my dad was trying to fight every fucking buddy that it happened. At him wrong. Whoa, I'm trying to fight every fucking buddy in this room. Oh, hey, oh, <laughs> me. When Aaron was scrappier, I'd be a little more scared. He's not as scrappy. As no, he. no, no. Hey, no. he could throw his weight around. He yeah. Did. Wow. Sumo slams. <laughs> so that does I'm like, me. okay, I'm gonna leave this guy. I'm looking at him. I'm, yeah. I'm, I give him this like smug look, like just oh, like yeah. you motherfucker. And That'll we do keep it. Wa- walking, <laughs> and he's just staring at us and staring at us. Guess where he goes to eat? Oh no, Paisano. Paisanos. And he comes in, and we're like just Robin and I are looking at him. Unfortunately, again, we sit at a half booth, half table, oh. a half chair. You got the chair. I got the chair, so I can't see him. I have to turn all the way around and look at him. Robin's just staring at him. She's like, he keeps looking over here. And I and I was like, let's just turn around and look at him and laugh. And we keep looking and smiling and laugh. And he just keeps looking. Damn. And then he goes and sits outside. He has to sit outside with his family. Damn. He keeps looking over. So him over. and his family moved. So this more people show up to his party. Oh. And uh, he keeps looking over here. At this point, I'm thinking that we, I think this has kind of fucked up his night. Like it's yeah. it's on oh, his mind now, right? Why not? And then they you move got, him inside. Yeah. We stare him down as he's sitting down, and I'm like, "What?" I I, I talk to Rob, and I go, <laughs> "What can we do that would cut him so fucking deep and leave him thinking?" Slash his tires. That was close, but I have a lawyer with me, so oh, I was about to say, that, well, that's, with the lawyer, okay. she she she's showing me how far I can push this with the oh, gotcha. without you know. I, no, no, yeah, yeah. legal boundaries. Arrested. So I'm like, why not? Write Piss this in his note. gas tank. If I was an asshole, no, I know people that do that. That's fucked up. I that know, is pretty fucked cool. yeah. um, I'm just going to write this note that's going to leave him thinking all fucking night. He's not going to yes. know what the fuck. He's going to probably look at his car once when he's before he gets into his car. He'll probably look all the way around his car. Oh, but when he yeah. gets home, he's going to be sitting at home like, what the fuck did this guy do to my car? Oh. So I put that <laughs> napkin underneath his uh, his windshield. Uh, yes. wiper blade yeah. and I just left it there and I was like I feel fucking satisfied right now <laughs> and Robin and I were like god this feels good like let's go do this to somebody else oh. um, so that's where that little note came from I like it so it felt good. really good you know? I love that you made him so uncomfortable that he went outside yeah oh. he, they went and sat outside and then they I think it was too cold and they asked to come back inside oh I see but um, it was it was pretty good, you know. I've got to, you know, I've, you know, I could have sat there and people are thinking, you know, why don't you guys tell, why don't you tell this guy what was up? Tell him what the fuck was up. Tell him, fuck you, dude. Fuck wow. you for taking. You know, I'm not that guy. The guy's sure. a big guy. He's a, you know, I didn't have anything against him. I don't him. know. You, you know, got could, some muscles, but uh, as we said before, you are scrappy. Yeah. I, I, hey, I will not go down. Okay. Without a fight. There you go. Um, I'm like, what, what's the line from Captain America? Uh, I could do this all day. I, I, I was going to pull the juggernaut bitch. I was going to pull the Independence Day. We will not go quietly into the night. <laughs> yeah. I'm Randy Quaid, bitch. So that is the napkin. Oh. I wanted to post it online, but Robin's like, eh, I don't think you should. So we'll just put it out. So the lawyer says to no. the show. Oh, we could we'll put, put it on, on Hardly on Heroes. Yeah. yeah. It was another car. Well, I like it. That's a good story. I, I felt good. You're being the bigger man. You showed restraint, but yeah, right? you did enough action that it's awesome. Yeah, you you were the bigger man. I thought that thing. No, no, no. He was bigger. The other guy was pretty big. He, he Wider? Big. Wider, taller, balder. Ugly. Okay, what's the point of saying Buffer? bald? I don't know. Was it's just as it gets, so so that you understand that his height is pure. Got like, it. Not no, hair. No, he as, doesn't have hair height. He doesn't have a pompadour. Aaron's or got anything. hair height. Like Buddy right now has <laughs> a good side. inch hair height in the front. Aaron's got hair height. I know. I I need to shave. Uh, <laughs> oh, speaking of shaving, 
since we're just telling stories. What are we talking about? Shaving balls? <laughs> no, 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 not today. Um, oh, okay. I broke my fucking glasses today. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, no. it's the worst. Why didn't How'd you, tape you break them? them? I, I was, I was laying down and I just rolled over onto them uh, and they snapped. They just snapped. Oh, it was horrible. Is that your only pair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that scares me. But I, I just but I pick. just got my eye exam because I, I can get new prescriptions. Nice. So I'm are you are those. you going with like a really nice frame or are you just going with a just right like Ray Bans or Oakleys yeah, yeah. or something? Yeah. yeah just I love just those. It. Yeah. Uh yeah. Manny, you don't know the struggle. Oh. Uh, I don't. You're right. I and it's surprising that I have not have you? What, what do you get your eyes checked ever? No, I don't. You need actually. to. I probably. Need You're to, an yeah. old man. I haven't had my eyes checked since I was like a child. Yeah, you need to get them checked. Just, just simple, I feel good though. Sim- simple. Uh, that, I can see I stuff. I feel good. I can, uh, uh, I can read that poster from here. Uh, well, there you go. Would. Then you're fine. That's done. Yeah. <laughs> I could read that with both eyes closed. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh shit. He's got some fucking X-ray vision shit going on. Looking straight oh, through my eyes. So out. before we get into the show proper, yes, yes, are we doing gym update? Do you want a gym update? Yes, for me? I actually gym have asked oh. Aaron about the gym. Oh, okay. So it's on the docket. It is on the docket. Okay. We are we are following your transformation. So um, because last week we were all here, uh, we re- here. regretfully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you were mildly sick. sick. Yeah. I had a fucking golf ball on my face. Yeah. Uh, and it took until about two, to, three days ago for that golf ball to go down all the way. <laughs> I was actually surprised you made it to the gym so soon. I, yeah. I was like, oh shit, he's already at the gym. Yeah. What, and what's Clayton so funny? Told me. Oh. Clayton's like, yeah, hey, listen to the episode. He's like, you're really the only one bringing the energy. Yeah. And I was a little like, bit. <laughs> Manny was fucking near death. Aaron was in pain. I was like, <sighs> we tried to muster up what we could. We to did. Get a, and we did get good. a show out for Sunny. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it was. So I went the last and not tonight. I'm hoping to go tonight after the show. But I went the last two nights. The first night I kind of was like, oh, look, like checking out the gym. And I did a little bit of cardio and a little bit of elliptical and a fucking just killed me uh and then the second night i did a little bit more and i'm hoping to go up and up and up more and more and more and then the degree of difficulty gets higher and higher as i as i keep going but it's nice the most important question we have for you today yeah did anybody no nobody i I really want somebody to spot aaron and get a koozie nobody came up i gave him koozie i know i have them i keep them in my car the car i take to the gym I that, love it. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so oh, and I and I and I did the sauna. Sauna, Ooh, nice. sauna's money. And yeah. the steam room. Steam room's a little intense. It gets in your lugs, and I can't breathe. But I love it. When we lived, when Robin and I lived in L.A., Ooh. the the apartment that we lived in had oh. a sauna. Oh, hello. Oh, we were oh, yeah. kicking it in there all the time. I yeah. would. The only thing nice. about this is, so it's a co-ed <laughs> sauna and or steam room, right? But you wouldn't Perfect. know it because it's Better. all guys. Oh, every like every I'm like, dude, why do I need 13 shirtless dudes in the sauna right now? They're all just- we used to hang out in one when I was in like middle school or high school at Lyle's. Apartment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had yeah. a pool and a sauna and we would kick it in there and like funny. all our clothes because we were stupid kids. Yeah. Um. Here's the thing about my gym. Right. So. Like, there's a lot of people at my gym. It's like because it's California Family Fitness, not sponsored. We're not sponsored by them. That's just where I go. We are not. Wish. Um, and, like, a lot of the girls, like, it's like the women are there to try to get into shape. And you can, like, most, like, they're not, not a lot of the girls are, like, super in shape and, like, hella, like, bodybuilder type of girls. Every single fucking guy is, like, in, like, in shape. Really? And like, yeah. I feel fucking lame. Granted, I'm not, like, medically obese, but I'm not in shape. Maybe it's at like all. the time that you go at. Maybe no? I'm go- because I'm going at night. I've been going always... at six ish both nights. I, I feel six ish like... at Natomas. Yeah, at Natomas. You can get a koozie if <laughs> yep. you spot Aaron. Un koozie. <laughs> what he is might he... be sleeping Wait. on the treadmill. Oh, true. Oh, okay. I'm getting it confused. I'm thinking spot Aaron. What is he on the bench? Like he needs a spot? No, no. you're just saying spot C. If you see no. Aaron at the gym, I don't need a spotter. I'm not. I'm not deadlift and shit. I'll spot and you on the elliptical. Bro. I Thanks. really want somebody to take a picture, like yes. with him holding the koozie, being like, "That would be so it. dope." That'd be great. I would yeah. die laughing. It'd be oh, so, man. Awesome. so yeah, that's my update. Two days in. Woo! Nice. 
Good job, Keep man. Ow! We're rooting for you. Thanks. All right. Now Ugh. to the nitty gritty. Yeah. Stuff that we the haven't meat actually. And potatoes. We haven't talked about this in a few weeks, actually. Oh, we no, have like right. anything new. Really? Yeah. Well, there you were gone. Been we talked about Star out. Wars. Yeah, that's true. And Tony couldn't make it because I'm sick. And then yeah. we just bullshitted. Well, uh, it's so a thing. Now we're back. All right. So what, what do we got? Altered car- carbon. Altered yes. carbon. Altered carbon. Carbon. Corbin um, we've no. talked about this a couple no. times on the show. No. no. Corbin no. Dallas? Not, not Corbin, Corbin Dallas. Dallas. Altered Multipass? carbon. Carbon. He's got it. You he got, knows you it's a multipass. Oh, God. Sorry, I had to finish it. So we've been talking about this. Uh, we've, we brought it up on the show a few times. <laughs> yeah. It's a trailer that's out there. It is about a... Um, so we're talking about this. I thought we'd kind of put it out there. A little bit of background about the show yep. that we're expecting to get in um, February, February, February 2nd? like fourth or February second. second, yeah, yeah. Mm. So uh, I thought right I'd do a little summary about the show. Corner, right? So it is, uh, it is a Netflix show mm-hmm. uh, that we are getting a TV series, ten episodes long. It's based on uh, novels by Richard K. Morgan Correct. that were published in 2002. Right. There's he's, three in the in the series. series yeah. Yes, he's got he's got three in the series, which are called. Um, Altered Carbon, right? Broken Angels, correct? And Woken Furies, yeah. So I'm I just on. Got I, woke. I'm on Broken Angels now. Boom. Oh, you're reading it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm listening to it. Oh, so did you like Altered Carbon? I did. I think the the book is a little slower than the show's going to be. Like it felt slower. Okay. But at the at the base, the base story is it's like it's a simple story if you think about it. Like yes. the actual story of the book one. Let me give a little brief summary of what it's about so this is set uh 300 years in the future in a dystopian world humans have the ability to pass their consciousness from one body to another using technology right uh our consciousness is now digital uh the character's name played by uh joe kinnaman joel kinnaman yeah he played uh the 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 What's his Suicide name? Squad, Suicide Squad, Squad, Robocop, uh, um, The Killing. He was in The Killing. The Killing. He was also a uh, AMC show. Poli- was he politician. Suicide Squad. He, he Rick was, Flag Rick, or Rand- uh, Randall, Randall Flag. Flag? <laughs> Is it Randall? Something no. Flag. Yeah. Um, Rick Flag. Anyways, the, the guy. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Opposite of Will Smith. Yeah. Um, and he was also in um, the Underwood Show. The oh um, yeah, he played House the of his, yeah, Oh he, yeah, he was uh, the other guy running for president. I like him. I've heard some people say that they don't like him. Well, as an I love. I, lo- I like him a lot. The I, first thing I saw him in was The Killing. It was an AMC show about somebody that uh, this girl that got murdered, but they took too long to tell you who the killer was. It took uh, like three or four seasons. You need to have Jesus. one death yeah. and the killer at the end of the season. Yeah. And it was like, I was at season three. I'm like, I still don't know who this fucking girl's hey, killer is. And you've got Twin Peaks 20 years oh later. My still ain't God. telling you who it is. <laughs> um, Did but, you ever finish that new season? No. I got about halfway. I think I got to episode eight. What about you? You started watching the original series, right? I tried. I watched like two it's episodes. Just so I was like, nah, weird. I can't watch it. Um, it okay. Been, so, yeah. So uh, the, his character, Takashi Kovacs. Yeah. Duh. Sounds like a Japanese name. It is. I'm surprised I haven't heard any. Well, uh, because he, in the story, he it, his original. Oh, and he's. His okay, original consciousness is Japanese, a Japanese guy. That's how white people get away with right. it. Right. <laughs> yes. Got but it. in okay. each book, he goes like he goes into a different body. Okay. I so understand. it's. He could be Next, like Will a Smith, seven foot tall black man in the next movie, or, not or Kevin Hart, or Kevin Hart. I, I think he a should be five Kevin foot Hart. tall oh. black man. <laughs> he should no. be <laughs> Kevin Hart and Broken Angels. I, I'm looking for that. <laughs> okay, um, so oh, Takashi is brought Manny back. Death eyes right now, people. <laughs> Takashi is back after 250 years to solve a murder yep. of the person that hired him. Correct. Isn't that interesting? So a guy got murdered, and then because of their technology, murdered. he's alive because you can just take your consciousness out and yes. put it in another body. So they call them stacks. They There's like basically a little external hard drive. Stacks on stacks on stacks. stacks. Racks on racks on racks. And you right. could have stacks on stacks because right. I guess what they do is uh, you would think that... The- you sounded so... <laughs> you could have stacks on stacks. Coming up next oh. on stacks on yeah. stacks. Um, the uh, the person that hires Takashi um, has multiple stacks. Takashi right. sounds but, like a motorcycle to me. Now I'm wondering a little bit. Yeah, it does. Uh, why do Why does this guy care who killed him if he could just come right back? In That's another, what I'm saying. What like, why does matter? he care? Um, yeah. But he some, is it the principle behind it? Maybe I think so. Maybe he's like nobody's gonna get 
you know, get I don't one really want to say mine. anything yeah. because it's kind of the whole purpose of the like okay. that's oh, the point you know. of the okay, story. I'm sorry, yeah, don't actually say I don't know the ending because I I the last I read it was like two weeks ago. I don't remember the ending. Ah, got it. Oh, I know. Blah Tell blah me. blah. Bad memory. I must schmackety. love watching Six Sense. Why? See exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I love it. Um, okay, almost messed that up. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> And bodies are called sleeves. Yeah. You just re-sleeve yourself. So what was the, that there was a, creepy. is it in, <laughs> it was it in Seattle? They had that big technology. Um, Expo? Yeah. Okay. It, there was one like a month ago or two months ago. They went there. Netflix, the, Altered Carbon, the show, went to this place. and With, with sleeves. With, they went with sleeves and promoted taking your consciousness out and putting it in another body. Legit. They didn't like, it looked official. Like I had people on my really? Facebook page like, "Is this real? What the hell's yeah. going on?" And like, it was creepy the way they did it. It it was it's really fucking cool. Weird. So they describe this as cyberpunk noir. <clears throat> yes. Uh, all of the novels revolve around Takashi. Um, and from what I understand, the second one, Broken Angels, is thirty years after uh, Altered Carbon. It's yeah, thirty or fifty or something like that. Yeah. Um, and um. This guy, uh, the 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 guy, the author Richard uh, K. K. Morgan, Morgan he's yeah. actually written Black Widow mini a Black Widow miniseries, oh. um, as well as he got another he's got another uh, series called Land Fit for the Heroes, Land really? Fit for Heroes, or another sci fi ish type yeah. of thing. Yeah, oh, okay, same, same shit. Hmm. Um, looks kind of like Blade Runner to me. It does it's it, it 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 it's very heavily like super Blade Runner themes. Did you see the trailer? I did. It did looks you, awesome. Is there a is the Hulk at the end of it? Did you see what? that? <laughs> you guys have to watch it again. At the very oh. end, there's this massive really? dude. I tried pausing it and going really slow. It looks like the Hulk, but obviously it's not the sure. fucking Hulk. It's not the Hulk. But, but maybe they have like you know, uh just something something or like some that. people that are like mm-hmm. Altered because that's next week, right? That's ne- that's in a week that it comes out. Yeah, yeah. So or I guess sure. a week and a half or something. Yeah, I'm probably gonna. It, I think it'll probably just like be like every other Netflix thing. It'll just everything will drop. Right. I'll probably spend the weekend and watch the whole thing. Uh, yeah. So I thought it was kind of interesting. I was like, so nobody with something with technology like this, nobody cares. Like, like you could do whatever you want. You right. could die. You could bring yourself back. And I was like, why? Why would there ever be a world where there's still classes in this case? I guess. Yeah. Um. And I was reading a little bit about the background and. It's kind of interesting how like poor people, if a young poor kid gets g- killed, yeah, can't come back or they come back and they put them in an old fucking body. Yeah. Like, like an oh, old person's sucks. body because, because they, they can't, can't afford it. They can't afford a new young in shape body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's it's pretty intense. Like the, the lore and the backstory of that whole universe is really cool. Yeah. So um, the old people's body, it's just like a regular old person where like they got, yeah. you know, like can barely get around. And I would think so. Yeah. I think it, your but I mean, your consciousness has to control it, but you only have the amount of the ability that energy. that body has. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, and there's like a lot of themes of like, yes, we can get into any body we want and live basically forever. But your consciousness, you know, and they don't it's not a big thing. It's not a big part of the story, but like. You know, how how clear of a head can you have if you have been around for five, six hundred years? Your consciousness like, yeah, eventually that probably can die or deteriorate, too. Uh, but it's it's intense. Right. Uh, you're, you're just no longer like a normal person. I I I liked a lot of it more than Blade Runner just because back then they didn't mm. they didn't know how to write that type of sci fi. It was brand new mm-hmm. that that type of story. Uh, and yes, it was very revolutionary for the genre and no, nothing like that had ever been done. But it is slow. It's a slow movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, a Blade sure. Runner is. And oh, Blade Runner. So, yeah. And so is the book. But it, this I think this does what Blade Runner wants to do in the to- like the tone of it. Yeah. If that mm. makes sense. So it's it, the book was fun and I, I'm excited for the show. So, yeah, it looks uh, looks good to me. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. Uh, speaking of Blade Runner, I did watch Blade Runner 2049 this weekend. OK. And? and if I would have watched it before the year was over, they would have been my number one. Really? Wow. That movie fucking blew me away. See, I, I need to watch it again. I've only watched like 30 minutes, but I love okay. 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I did split it in half. half. It's a it's a it's two really hour and 50 long. minute movie. 
Yeah. I we split it in half, watched it one night, uh, and then finished it up the next night. But I was completely impressed with it. I was compressed. Uh, com- compressed. He was compressed. It was, compressed. it was so good. He compressed himself into a little box. Into a little box. Yeah. Just and then he decompressed, watched the rest of the movie, and loved it. Exactly. Little espresso. That's what we call him. <laughs> Ryan Gosling did amazing. How was Harrison Ford? Uh, he didn't have a huge role in it, but I thought he was okay. I'm Harrison um, Ford. Uh, uh, I'm Harrison Ford. Yeah, that's, that's him. That's me. I'm Harrison Ford. Really sound that's like him. Harrison Ford. Yeah. The got, story I, was great. I got an earring. I loved it. I do kind of want to talk it about it. It kept me intrigued the whole time. I like um, to fly. The entire pilot. time. It's very artistic. Yeah. The movie doesn't move super fast, but it doesn't ever feel like it needs to. It doesn't ever feel like it's lagging. Um, got a lot of good actors in it. Yeah, I've heard this is like Ryan Gosling's like best performance he's ever done. He did great, but he did remind me of his character from Drive or Driver or whatever. Oh, movie, really? Where he's just walking yeah, yeah. in a car the whole time or sure. walking around um, to a really cool soundtrack. So, well, I mean, duh. He has this. Uh, he has this friend hologram that is yes. fucking adorable. Yes. She is amazing. Hot. Um, she's hot and she's a great character. I seen really so the little bit that up. I did see um Drax uh Batista, Dave Batista's yes. in it too. He's really good the from what I saw. Yeah, like I'm like this guy's got some chops. Right? Look at him. He's like doing it. Dwayne yeah, Johnson, shit. get out the way. Yeah. WWE stars are actors now. John yeah. Cena's going to play fucking Duke Nukem and oh everything. God, I'm okay I'm with that. So fucking excited. I'm okay, okay with that. I'm, I'm totally all in. in. Sorry. The second I saw that I was yeah. like I saw that and I had to I'm glad anyways, you brought that up uh, yeah. Oh, I'm actually real steamed up about that. That's a good one. I love John Cena. (laughs) Dude, are you guys nervous at all about the new solo movie? How have we not seen a teaser trailer? I think we're. I think everybody's kind of. We're getting it. Super Bowl. We have to get it. Yeah. Yeah. But I've heard there's rumors saying that uh, the guy playing I forgot his name that's playing Han Solo. Solo. Uh, There's Alden Ehrenreich. Yeah, they're saying he has been doing. Real yeah, bad. Uh, so allegedly he is not a very good actor. Yeah, they're saying they're giving him acting lessons uh, to try to make him that? better. Like, he, here's the thing: he was in Hail Caesar. He was in a Clooney movie. Like, didn't it was a Wach- not a Wachowski's? It was. He you wasn't that great in that either. Oh, he was. See, I, I didn't, didn't. I never. I don't saw really that. remember it. I watched it though, and I didn't really. Um, like it. I can't remember. Hail Caesar. Yeah. Yeah. Hail Caesar. Because that was a uh, who's that director that did that? Uh, the brothers, Coen Brothers. Yes. So yeah. that was a Coen Brothers movie. Like they did Fargo. They, you know, mm-hmm. and it's a high profile movie at least. Yes. Um. But but other than that, he hasn't done anything, mm. dude. I heard it's bad. <laughs> well, and it kind of makes you think. Is they haven't Here, dropped anything. Here's the thing. Like I know. Like I got excited when I heard Han Solo movie. But all this is gonna be is. Han Solo's greatest hits. We're going to see him winning the Millennium Falcon from fucking Childish Gambino. And then we're <laughs> we're going to see him do the Kessel Run in 10 seconds or whatever. Yeah, and then yeah. we're going to see him meet Chewie. So, and then what else? What else? What else? We're going to yeah. see where he got the fucking dice. Yeah. Ugh. And that's it. That's all the movie's going to be. I, I've been seeing those images. I think they're old, but the yeah. images of... Uh, Adam Driver dressed up like mm-hmm. Han Solo. What? Um, just to kind of show, oh, like, okay. oh yeah, he yeah, looks yeah. really good as fucking Han Solo. I mean, <laughs> he just looks like they picked the right person for Han Solo's son, Kylo Ren. Yeah. Um, because when they put him in the leather jacket and that, I was like, dude, that like he kind of looks like Harrison Ford. <laughs> oh, man, I cannot wait for that movie to come out on DVD. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. I'm. Oh, did you guys hear about? Oh no, Thor Ragnarok. No, no. they accidentally released it oh, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For I, I, Five did, seconds for the digital release or whatever. And there's like fucking pirating galore right now yeah. because of it. So uh, I think it was like on Monday or something that uh, Apple know, accidentally know. released the digital version of the movie on Voodoo and Movies Anywhere for a small <laughs> window to be downloaded. Uh, some people oh. said that they had a pre order and that they looked in their mailbox and suddenly they just had it. So they awesome. were like, download it, download it quick. And so it wait, was, when is it actually supposed to release? February twentieth. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Huh? You didn't get it. I don't have it pre-ordered. No, that's oh. so <laughs> I wouldn't. I because th- that's for digital. I want like the fucking four K. Right. Yeah. Um. So that's funny. But um, man, good for the people out there that got it. But now they're pir- they're pirating the shit out of it, and it's gonna it's it's gonna fucking hit their sales because oh yeah, it. it's gonna hurt like, the sales. And it's Big Bad Apple that did it. Oh, There's nobody else but Apple. To God blame. damn they gotta it! They got to be like son of a bitch. Fuck yeah. you, Tim Cook. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just I really want to see a trailer for the solo movie. Yeah, it's, it's it, it, be. they were saying last week that we were going to get it yesterday, but that never happened. Yeah. Uh, so it's I mean, Super Bowl's neck neck, not this week, but next weekend but I mean, it comes out in March. I know. Yeah, and <laughs> nothing. Scary. We've seen nothing. We got the we got the first Star Wars trailer for Last Jedi like a year before it came out. Yeah, they did the same thing for Rogue Force One. Awakens. It wasn't a year, but it was like eight months before it came out. Yeah, uh, I just wonder if this movie's gonna <laughs> bomb. Like, and I'm excited for like Woody Harrelson and fucking Amelia Clark. I know and- it's it's too bad that they've got this such a great cast right minus it is an odd like Alden. danny glover fucking I great know, man. i'm and really then, hoping that this bombs <laughs> and that they're just like nope not gonna do the obi-wan movie oh. no no i don't want it to bomb only so only if uh if we there may be a chance that we can still use all the other characters right if it bombs and they're ne- they're done they're like Childish Gambino is uh, Dan- Donald Glover is no longer in D gloves. Yeah, he's no longer in the Star Wars uh, universe, and that's kind of fucked up. It's like right, like I don't want to go backwards. <laughs> well, so it's to too late. It's time. too late now. But like uh, Obi Wan, what are they gonna do for his movie? I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm actually kind of looking. I would Obi-Wan. love I would love that and like bring fucking Qui Gon back. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm looking forward to you, uh, you and McGregor. It's I, like I just want to see him as Obi Wan. So again. what was it? The Golden Globe? Yeah, it was the Golden Globes. But the prequel he, summed him up. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah was, he went to Tatooine and was looking over Luke. Well, that it was, doesn't have to be him and Luke. Maybe it he have to be, battled up a bunch of people to keep them away. Keep them away from. You don't think he Luke, went off know? world for like a month just to like get some hookers and yeah, do some so blow? Is wild oats. He didn't have a ship. <laughs> you yeah, don't think right? he could get a ship? He fucking force fucking projected yeah. himself onto a hooker. Flew through the sky like fucking Leia. <laughs> You know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, instantly oh, wow. regret that decision. That um, was good. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's. Uh, yeah. So I the, he. So what was it? okay? So yeah, Golden Globes. Uh, he won a Golden Globe. You and McGregor did. And afterwards, they go and they get. They have to do a press conference. Uh, and somebody was like, first question, what the fuck's going on with the Obi Wan movie?" And nah. he's like, "Look, Can't I don't know. It. He wants to he, do it, he, but they haven't reached out to him." They have, they have reached out to him. Oh, they have. But there's nothing official yet, or at least they're not saying it. Because uh, they want to see if Solo bombs. Right, but you and McGregor's a bigger actor than Aaron Aldenreich or whatever the fuck his name is. It's true, but yeah. Han is a way bigger character. I know. Than Smuggler A-B-1. and suave motherfucker. <laughs> That's all I got. That's his bio. Bio. All yeah. right. What's D gloves? Uh, bio. I, I don't know. Manny would know more than I do. I don't know. Hashtag community. No glove, no love. Yeah. yeah. Boom. No glovey, no lovey. That's it's on his Wikipedia page. I wrote it myself. Uh, uh, did you guys watch the Super Trooper trailer? I did. You fuck yeah, I did. You guys excited uh, for that? I'm fucking steamed up. You think they can hit it again? Hell yes. Yeah? I believe. Uh, so that's Club Dread. Is I that, don't believe yeah. they can be. You no, know, I don't think it's going to be as good. I don't as the think first so one. either. I don't think so. But, but look, the, the story good. of how they got it done is great because that whole this whole movie is crowdfunded. Oh, really? They oh, they, dude, they tried hit to get their it. mark in like four days. Yeah, they, nice. because they weren't able to get it. Like a studio was like, "Nope, we're not doing Super Troopers too." Sorry. So they're like, "If you guys want this movie." You guys give us the money and we'll do it. And they did it. Like Buddy said, in four fucking days, they got the money. And they did it. um, What I thought was really cool, one of the podcasts I listened to. uh, Oh, which one? There's so many. No, don't even say it. Uh, They paid, I think it was like. Bless you, Manny. I think they paid like 12 grand and they made them like a commercial. They were like, hey, thanks for donating so and so. And I thought that was really cool. And the. Director, um, I can't remember his name. Uh, Jay. Okay, I listened to the pronunciation. Bonin <laughs> last night, and I still can't remember. Uh, Jay Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar. Yeah. Mm. He's the Sandra cop. He's with the one with the yeah, cop. Yeah, he's the yeah, big mustache. Cop. Right. He came on their podcast and was talking about how much the fans, you know, wanted to do it, and how 
they were, you know, were so excited to make this movie, and they've really, you know, tried hard to make sure it's as well, good. good. I mean, yeah. you know, if if he's saying if he's feeling yeah. like it's a good movie, maybe we will enjoy it. And it's on four twenty. And I mean, oh yeah, did yep. you ever see Slammin' Salmon by them? No, no. no. <laughs> That's one of my favorite movies they've oh, ever done. That's the almost, beach movie, or that? no? It's um about the river. Remember the guy <laughs> from the Green Mile? Oh, the, the that, black guy, Michael yeah. Clark Tom Duncan? Hanks. No, not Tom. Michael oh. Clark Duncan. Yeah. He's he's still dead. Yeah, he's, he's way dead, dead yeah, by yeah, the no. way. He owns a salmon restaurant. <laughs> no, he and doesn't. He's like he's a dead. boxer. <laughs> and those guys all work there. It is hilarious. It's like waiting, but better. Oh, oh really? Oh, it's oh I so liked waiting. Like, that yeah, was like a fun waiting. movie. Yeah. Okay, so your <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh so your your favorite highway patrol troopers are back and called for duty during a border dispute between US and Canada. <laughs> this is the only reason I and like it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. They hate Canadian. Oh, uh, the the whole the, in the trailer where they start speak, speaking speaking yeah, Canadian to yeah. French can, or they start speaking yeah French Canadian to the tourists like and it's like a great poupon a croissant and I'm just like what the fuck is going on that's what I'm saying it looks so fucking funny yeah Ugh. that was pretty funny yeah, I was I laughing it. on that uh, we're Ooh, getting that movie what April, about when Farmer April 20th it's that bald eagle I <laughs> yeah. so fucking hard it's like, oh. or it's like. Uh, <laughs> Would you like a liter of cola? Oh, yeah. I love Canada. <laughs> I love Canada. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Uh, can, I, can I get a liter of cola? Oh, man. A liter. Oh, yeah, a whole it. liter. I'm so excited. So, yeah, no, we'll, 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 we'll see that, and, and I'm sure it'll be fine. And there, there hasn't been a lot of good comedies out, like movies. It's hard, really, to like go to the theater and see a comedy and really like it. Yeah. You know, it's more of like having to watch it a couple of times. I can really... remember the last comedy I went to in the theaters, like, and I legit, like, I legit went twice to see it. Dude, I can't remember. Grandma's Boy. Really? Damn, <laughs> oh, that was Grandma's way Boy. back then. That I saw that three better. times in the theater because every one of my friends wanted to see it. So I saw it by myself once, and I saw it with another friend the second time, and then I saw it with three more friends the third time. So good. Your wow. bed's a car. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's a, a fucking th- sweet car. It's got a CB radio. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a CB radio so I can talk to other car beds. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you jerked off on my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on in. My roommates are asleep. I can't stop coming. <laughs> oh, oh, so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. It's like your ass is tanner than my face. God, that movie's so good. Gray Bush? Yeah, Gray Bush. That was my nickname in high school. Um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> my throat is so itchy right now. Yeah. Have a lozenge. A lose lozenge. You ain't got lozenge. no water? I got water, it's not working. Oh. Um Are any of us into Dune? We like Dune? How you doing? That's when we made my next doing, podcast. Doing? How you doing? When the movie comes out, right. you should start it. What you doing? How you doing? Yeah, that's the prequel <laughs> right. podcast. What you doing? Um, I you haven't doing. seen Dune before. I know it's a it's a wonderful Already. book. Yeah, uh, and it Don't was know nothing bad. What's his name? Since we were just talking about uh, what's his eyebrows? What's Tim, his eyebrows? Uh, no, the Twin Peaks. Yeah, Twin Peaks he's guy. Twi- I don't remember. He did. Name, uh, he did the movie. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, the mo- the was it a made for TV movie? I don't know. That was All the right. 80s, wasn't it? It Maybe was, early nineties. Uh, oh, did this, they have another one back uh, in two thousand three? Did they try it again? Uh, that's not the one I'm talking about. I don't know. All right, but I it's with either. that guy that's also in Twin Peaks. He's in Dune. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I did not like it actually. Richard, but I was a kid, and I feel like it wasn't really made for kids. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Legendary Entertainment is coming out with a Dune remake. Yep. Um, th- he is uh, ambitious to create. Uh, the Star Wars you never saw, a Star Wars for adults. That's yeah. what he's saying. Oh, I'm saying he. Who's he? <clears throat> Dennis yeah. Villanueva. Vina- Villanueva. Uh, Villanueva. Yeah. Uh, he directed uh, Blade Runner. Yes, he 2049. did. 2049. Mm. So that's where we got him. Uh, the books were written in 1965 by Frank Herbert. Uh, six books in the series. I think there's more books, but like the main series is six books yeah. long. Uh, there was a mini series in 2003 that took place uh, within the first two books, and the prequels uh, were written and as well as published by after Frank Herbert's death. Oh. Um, mm. And then there's a documentary about a movie that was n- that never got out. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's supposed to be really good. It's called the uh, here we go, Jodoro Jodorowsky Dune okay. documentary. 
And that's, do you know where that is? Or is it where just can on we the watch I, didn't, I didn't look for it. Okay. It's out, out there the somewhere. Uh, it's a documentary, documentary about his attempt to make a Dune film. The cast of his movie uh, would have had Mick Jagger, Orson Welles, and Salvador Dali. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. With a Pink Floyd soundtrack. Yeah. Some trippy. Man. So from what I heard, from what I have known about the Dune from the 80s is that it's great, but it's nothing like the books. Like, okay. it's... It's it's not it's not adapted well, but it's still a great movie. So I think if somebody else did it, like if they did it on the books, I mean, from what I've heard is Dune is one of the best sci-fi books ever written. Okay. Uh, and I would love to see it. I'm not going to fucking read it because it's way too long and I hate long books. It. Uh, so <laughs> Damn, man, I was just about to ask how that is coming. I'm, out. I'm, I'm taking a pause because I'm reading Altered Carbon or listening to it. And those are a lot shorter. Yes. Only 12 hours instead of 45 hours. Uh, I can hold, hold my hold my attention a little easier. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would think so. <laughs> uh, so that's all I got for the news. Uh, are you guys ready to go into some sidekick mail? Yeah. Sidekick mail. All right. Uh, long-time listener. <clears throat> Doesn't write in very much, though. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We got uh, Buddy's big brother. Oh, oh Lee. Bro Lee, Lee wrote into the show. Oh, not so big. Not that little, big. Lee didn't write in. A little in. smaller. A little smaller. Oh. James? James? James. Yes. Oh, okay. We got James. I was going to say. My Brahim. Broham. All right. So I think Brosophus. You, I think, uh, Bro Migo. Bro Town Buffet. Aaron might have pissed him off on the last episode. <laughs> Bro Fest? <laughs> Damn Come it. on, keep it going. Let's go. No, you guys don't have Bro Migo. I said that one first. Bro Potato. Bro tato. Okay. Bro Nacho. <laughs> that's not a thing. Anyways, go, Manny. <laughs> but Bro Potato is. No, yeah. Bro Tato. Oh, bro Potato. <laughs> bro Tato. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> bro sexual? Oh, bro. He's getting uncomfortable. I'll let you in. There you go. You got it. All right. Bros. <laughs> okay, so this is from Brother James. You, you just hang out at the gym, squatting, and like saying, hey, bro. 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 How you doing, bro? Anyways. All right. That's all I got. That's I thought I got. he was gonna say bro sexual, but he never. No, no, no. no that's never the, said that's it. You, the bro that sexuals is. don't ever say bro sexual. They just give the look. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. Look. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. This is when we need video to I see that you. face that he's making every time he says it. That's uh. something we need to work on. Um, okay. From James. Hi, James. Where the fuck are my Roto Toms, Aaron? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'm well, going to read through this, and then you I'll, can give I'll us the story. I'll respond after, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I supplied those to you on two conditions. One, you play for the NRB on our <laughs> reunion tour, and oh. two, you replace the heads. Since you have neglected both of the rules, I therefore <laughs> must negate our agreement. Negate. Negate. Not negate. It's negate. negate. Thank you. <laughs> and take back a process... <laughs> And t- take back possession of my property. If you no longer have them, <laughs> you must buy them. N- buy my nephew some drum equipment oh. at your full expense. Wonderful. <laughs> we had a verbal agreement that was witnessed. You will be hearing from my lawyer, Robin. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I have listened to every single fucking episode, that's and true. not once have I received an invitation to be on the show. That's a different yeah, that, subject. That's wow, like, good job, Aaron. Why wouldn't I know. you invite James? I, this is on me that I didn't invite James to be on the show. <laughs> Until true. this request has been granted, okay. I will be boycotting the show. Buddy, no matter how much you work out, I will always <laughs> be able to kick your ass. Yeah, You're right, right James. <laughs> Uh, Wish. Oh man. Deathmatch. Heart right. of the Heroes. Deathmatch. So where are these rototums? Okay, so I, nobody knows this story. How long Here's ago? the thing. Yeah. I, I've been playing the drums since I was about fifteen. I'm when not playing was, anymore. I was gonna say when, when was the was last scrappy. time you played? About three years ago. Oh, okay. Three or four. Um Yeah, so about fifteen, and then I had my own set, and then about sixteen ish, I got these little rototon per- percussion drums. Four. Four from Buddy's brother. Um, that was 15 years ago. I have no fucking clue where they are. My <laughs> parents just moved out of the house where it, they would have been. And I don't know. I have nothing. Now, what is 15 wh- years? What is it? What's so special about a Roto Tom? Like- they're, they're just, they're, they're really awesome percussion drums. They, okay. They're not a snare. It's, it's like, it's like Tom's. No, like we know. The, okay. It's like a Tom, but, but they're a little higher pitched. Okay. 
Um, and do, it's just a different noise. Do, it's just a different do, noise. Do. Yeah, ex- do, do, ju- yeah, just like they that. They were actually really cool. They, they were, were a lot really of fun yeah, to play. They were, they were fun. Um, but Aaron, but the fifteen years lost them. Sixteen. I'm th- I'm almost th- seventeen. I'm almost thirty two. You goddamn years old. Sounds like you owe him some new ones. I guess so. Yeah. I think so. Well, I know. He said I got to get his nephew equipment, so I'll just buy a cowbell and one mm. drumstick, and then I think we're even. I like it. <laughs> no, that's one of the plastic cowbell. ones. Yeah, yeah. That's a... And that's all I got. What's okay, a yeah, metal one go. sound like? Dong, 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 dong. I need more cowbell. I need a cowbell. I know. On here. Anyway, so sorry, James. You know. Sorry, James. We do need to get him on I don't even shoe. have the two drum sets I had before, so... What He's got to come up with something that he wants to talk about on the show. That right. He is and, passionate and about. James, a uh, uh, conversation has come up of you coming on the show. Hey, you shut the fuck <laughs> You should talk to your brother. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even you have your number. You come up with a segment that you want to talk about, brother, and we'll bring you. We got a fresh James chair Lane? right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would even switch places with you, buddy, so you could just be right across from your brother. You guys could argue out whatever you want. What is what does he like or what does he hate? More, oh, more. I think it's my, like what he hates. Uh, he hates Pearl Star Jam. Wars. He hates uh, Pearl Jam. He hates oh. the new Star Wars. He isn't, he hasn't seen it. But he hates Ro- Rogue One. Oh yeah. Does he hate Force Awakens? Do you like Force Awakens? No, he likes Force Awakens. Okay, all right. Oh. What else doesn't he like? Me. Yeah. He Labyrinth. Like you. Limp hey. Biscuit. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm just um, assuming. Yeah. <laughs> Limp I mean, Biscuit. Yeah. That's for sure. That's he hates God Limp Biscuit. Yeah. Huba Stank. Doesn't like the Hoobas thing. Yeah. Oh no, he didn't burn my Hoobas thing shirt. I just think he made fun of me for it. Yeah. He just pissed on it while you were wearing it. Right. While I was asleep, and nope, it you just were awake. happens. No, that Got sounds really creepy. A little bit on your mouth. <laughs> oh. Not just on the lip. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to rethink every time I went to Buddy's house when I was a kid. Oh. So wow. does that mean he's not listening to this show <laughs> since he's? Who knows? Not. Yeah. I guess Here's not. Here's the thing. He's now, listening because he, he wants yeah. to hear his his email read on the show oh yeah he's just as egotistical as me he loves to hear about himself <laughs> runs in the family yeah. yeah that's okay all right so we got another one we do from sunny i haven't read it it's yet. kind yeah. of long you guys ready the for this indian one? viking yeah. i haven't even read it yet so hopefully he's not right. we just about got it like a few hours ago. or anything yeah what about oh and then you didn't print out the second email i, I looked did. okay because Let's just go go over that. Let's go over that first because I don't know. I'm gonna try to find out um, by Get next out. week's show. But he I, wrote he wrote the second email two minutes after the first email. Correct. Um, so we're doing Quentin Tarantino. We're starting from the end and then going back to the beginning. Uh, he basically wants to know what the, the fuck you said last. Yeah, week. I need to find out. I need to look. I don't have the picture anymore of the saying, and now I need to look for it. And yeah, Baskelusk. Nope. Is what he thinks you said. That's not what I but said. But he didn't say what that is. It's okay. He goes, maybe you said something of something about Baskelusk. Uh, maybe. But anyways, I'll look it up and I'll get back to you guys next okay. week. Baba Gagoosh. Baba Ganoush. Baba Ganoush. There you go. It. All right. So what's the... He m- said he's been decry- decrypting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, we have to decrypt what Aaron says all the time. He doesn't remember anything. So. It's true. Um, yeah. So what's the other one? Okay. So his actual email... All right. You got some papers there, pal? Oh, there, Hoss. Oh, here. <laughs> All right, here we go. From Sunny in Norway, the Indian Viking. Correct. Hey, guys. Interesting episode you guys had last time. I was surprised you did manage to talk about stuff relevant, int- uh, in- interesting. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, relevant and interesting? In a good way, yes. Since last time I thought uh, of something for Sprinkles to, boo- uh, to boost and encourage to hit his weight goals, I have a challenge for him. Oh, oh yeah. I I also have had issue with my weight growing up. Oh, yeah, growing up and down. Oh, going up and down Correct. like a yo-yo, so I have an idea. I want to compete with Sprinkles oh, in a dear. good way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like, like it. This. I like this. A friendly oh, competition. Sure. I like it. I like it. <laughs> there is an app called Edmo- Edomondo. Oh, dear. Uh, that sounds foreign. Which <laughs> I feel like it's something you eat at a Japanese restaurant. Yeah, edamame, edamondo, edamondo, edo, endomondo, endomondo. Hold on, let me get the app store up. Which I am. It says there is an app called 
Edom, Endomondo, which I am, okay. if he is willing, to set up a goal for both of us. Spell it. To hit or achieve. E-N-D-O-M-O-N-D-O. Okay. Should get more people jumping in on this. Oh, Endomondo yeah. Sports Tracker. Sounds good to me. Yeah, get so a we all jump on. Heroes jumping on. Um, anyone can join, but we can both join it, and we can both encourage each other to get in shape. Hit the gym and get our asses out of the chair or sofa for at least 30 minutes a day. Um, we can see each other's goals okay. and see how well or how active we have been. I like it. Um, I think this will help him and me as well. Also, there is a great app that helps me with my eating. There's an app as, for everything. They've, they've, I know, I've pretty heard. much, yeah. Uh, as Buddy said, if you don't eat right, you won't get tight. Yeah. yeah. Did you actually say that? Yeah. I don't I think, don't think verbatim, that. but uh, that was the vague. That was the the gist of what he was saying. Way too clever. <laughs> eat I right, am get, clever. You eat right, assholes. get tight, bitch. Uh, did I say that or did Buddy? Oh, we don't know. Uh, don't right, get okay. it tight. No, no. Uh, eat right, get tight. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, it's the song. Uh, oh, is it? What is? What's the song? It's a old. Uh, God damn it. Country song? No, it's a... When I eat right, I get tight in my abs, in my core. That's what the song is, right? In my abs, in my core. (laughs) In my apple core. You got gold right there. (laughs) Anyways, uh, he says anyways. I'm not saying it. Anyways, uh, that app is called MyFitnessPal. We are using it. I'm using it. Are you using it? Yeah, MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal. Here you can scan whatever you eat that has a barcode and get a chance you can eat you can put other things in there right. but you just have to know how it's made um, and get instant 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 calories or you can search and add it oh there you go sorry i there, should stop yeah. speaking before he's way finished. to go and you have a cal- you have a calorie counter where it says how much you can have and how much you can eat oh, uh, man. and um, all fat and all that shit yeah, yeah sorry i'm skipping all this because we know about this it also it's also great because it can sync with it and now he's spelling it Edmondo, E-D, but you got it. There. I got it. Okay, I already okay. downloaded the app. And you can see that you have, uh, that you are in plus in how many calories. Wait, I fucked that one up. Oh, come oh, on. There, you can see that you are in plus in how many calories. I think he meant to say you're at. Sure. Okay, sure. Okay. It actually adds more calories for you to allow yourself to eat pretty cool, but we don't want that. No, we don't. I don't. I took you don't want that to happen. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Um. Uh. Anyways, good on you. Let's do this shit. Let's roll. Sprinkles, Ooh. if you can call that. Uh, if I may call you that, I am <laughs> not fit, so don't worry uh, that I will win or anything. I think we will start almost at the same level. Have a yeah. great day. Buddy. Uh, and yes, Buddy f- finds listeners. I think that is how he found me on Instagram when he liked one of my picks. And one more thing, I would give you a great iTunes review, but guys... I don't own anything of Apple products. That's okay. Because it sucks. Mm, mine's pretty good. All you have to do. Just, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mine, mine's pretty good. Mine's All you have to do, Sonny, is just go on your regular old PC that yes. isn't Mac and download iTunes. You don't even need to keep it. Just download iTunes. Write a review. I don't even think we'll be able to see it because I have to find out how to look up countries. iTunes. Because you don't get foreign countries' iTunes reviews on our iTunes. Oh. So I'd have to look up Norway's iTunes reviews. So you're saying that somewhere in another country, we could have a whole other 50 iTunes, and we wouldn't even know. Canada. Japan. We got like 20. Peru. Ecuador. (laughs) Equatorial Guinea. (laughs) Oh. uh Zimbabwe. Kind of funny story. I was uh, talking with one of the listeners, uh, Rebel Scum. On that sounds Instagram, official. Instagram back and forth. Is that his real name? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Mister Scum. Rebel. That's scum. my father's his, name. No, well, his when he was born, he was just called Scum, Got and it. he thought I'm gonna add the Rebel. It kind of lightens things up a little bit. Yeah. Ugh. But we've been talking back and forth on Instagram, and he was telling us how much he's been loving, how much we've been talking about Star Wars. Oh, the yeah. Couple episodes. That's good. He must be a Rogue yeah. One lover. No. Really? Of course he's not, because he's rebel scum. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he was telling, um, he said he's going to start watching Rebels, so hoping Manny. Wait, with Aaron. a name like that, you haven't even seen Rebels? Jesus. I know, right? Yeah. That's what I was giving him shit about. Hmm. I said it's amazing. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. So, All right. Cool. Um, do we have anything else, or are we just going to go straight into the do, iTunes? Do iTunes? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Let's go with that. Okay, so we have... I want to hear a new iTunes review. One iTunes review 
from last week. And five stars. Yeah. Five. Woo! 54 five star reviews. I'm sorry. Let me let me change my inflection here. Not 54 five. Not not 545. Okay. 54. Pause. Five star reviews. Yes. And this one. Oh, damn it. My phone. To closed. be clear in the future, you right. don't have to say the word pause. Re- you don't just do a dramatic pause. I can't. But doesn't it make it more dramatic if I say pause? <laughs> say dramatic pause. Like I'll say dramatic pause and then I'll go period. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's uh, it's titled "Did uh, Did We Just Become Best Friends?" Ooh. Oh shit! From Shulery Smith HTX Shulery HTX HDS Sir, no, no, no. I got a package, people. No, no, no. H. No. T X. Oh. Sorry, my. They must have just spelled that. It's T H X. No, no, no. H T. I'm looking at it right here. Dyslexia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, it was from Friday. It says the show. This show. No, the show is awesome. Every topic you guys cover is right up my alley. Uh, Sweet. Ma- makes me want to go out and start my own podcast. No, 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 no. But I'm just keep but, listening. But I'm lazy, so I'll just settle with listening to you guys All every right, Thursday. That's what we <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Trying to get every lazy listener oh, out there. Oh man. But yeah, if you want to start your own podcast, do it. It's fun. Yeah, it is pretty fun. It's uh, it's easy. Actually. And if it's good, we'll listen to you. No, we won't. Yeah, well, I, I will. Might. I might. Hey, yeah, 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 it's good. You know, I'm not trying to hate. But yeah. I just want to be a guest on your show. Really? I... What if they live in Norway? <sighs> oh, Canada. They can phone me in Zimbabwe. <laughs> yeah, Zimbabwe. Right. Correct. Right near the beach, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. Uh, I think that's all we got. I think it is. That was a good, tight, hour-long episode. Yeah. Bow! That was good. I'm really excited right for this week's... Uh, you guys will already have heard oh, it, but no. the intro this week. Oh, yeah. So, uh, to the sidekick, step it up, because this intro was awesome. Woo. Yeah. He gave us a good one. Yeah, who who so was this again? This is Greg. Old Greg? Old Greg? Old Greg! <laughs> Scale of man fish. Scale of man fish. <laughs> so, They're pretty good. I think I could do old Greg. Where can they find us? Maybe? Oh my gosh, they can find us at the U- USPS, the North Pole, uh, at the bottom of a cavern underneath my bed in the abyss. Yeah, in the abyss, and also in my nightmares. I thought you were going to say your nightstand. Aaron's in my nightmares. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Hi, He's... I'm George Lucas, and I'm in your nightmares. I'm also Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda, I am. Um, so hardlyheroes.com for goddamn everything. Yes. Except everything. for iTunes reviews. Everything. Not yeah. everything. I mean No, almost everything. Well, you can get do they to the link iTunes. you can link to yeah, okay. anyways. Link. But yeah, keep on with those iTunes reviews. We love them. Yeah, and keep up the emails. It's been nice. Hey, Please. you know what? And go Especially to our, when you give Aaron Go to our Martin. Facebook and yeah. like the it. poll. We didn't oh, even talk yeah, about that. We totally forgot about the That's poll. That's been okay. amazing. Let me pull it up. We have to talk about that, it. Dude, that is one of my favorite That things. escalated quickly. Yeah. Very. <laughs> Julia was pretty pissed at oh, me. Oh, man. Yo, she was? <laughs> yeah, because I said Katy Perry till I died. Okay. People like, yeah, people really chose a side. You know, it's I'm like. I'm really hoping people get in more to these polls. Cause well, the we need to make them as interesting as that. That was pretty fun. That, that was, was a lot of fun. Amazing. See, I, I, see, the thing is with me is I came up with the idea of polls, but at the end of the day, I'm not good with ideas for polls. Manny, that was great. That was a good one. I just saw an American Idol uh, trailer or preview or uh, uh, commercial. Yes, and I saw Katy Perry, Uh-oh. and I was like, I was like, I really like to know like what our listeners, what side. They and would I love the pictures. Oh, oh those God. were great those pictures. Are that, are so was, that was that was actually. Know, that was, yeah. I, I tried to find the silliest pictures of both of them. So, um, our question that we put on Facebook was: In a world where the next wo- world war is caused by two big or by two pop mega stars. Whose side do you choose to fight for? And we, yes. the choices were Katy Perry or T Swift, Taylor Swift. Yes. And we T-Swift. we reached 406 people with this poll. Sweet. The most I think we've ever reached anybody with anything we've ever done. On a, not even uh, <laughs> women to get um, uh, there were shit. I'm T Swift would, with, but you know the polls, yeah. and she's like, no. And at that at this point, we had ten votes, yeah. all for Katy Perry. Yeah, buddy. and she was the first one to vote for T Swift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, the results of the poll were 67% or 33% uh, uh, Taylor Swift and yes. 67 Katy Perry. So Katy Perry won out. Yeah. AP. Uh, and I don't know if you want me to read the comments, but we got 14. Um, No, nah, that's kind of a lot. Uh, Was there see. any good ones? We got... Oh, I think I like the beginning of it with <laughs> Buddy's cousin Karen uh-huh. said, "Is this a legit question?" And all I rep- replied was, "This is the most important question you will ever answer in your life." <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was like, "Why wouldn't you pick T Swift?" I was like, "Cause I don't want an album about how I fucked up and did something wrong." Yeah, yeah. but that that's about it. So Julia's was pretty funny. She was real on the Swift. Yeah, stuff. Thank, yeah. thank you everybody we, for we, for we, doing the poll. We hit a nerve with that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, look forward to uh, next poll. Make sure you vote. Yes, yeah. please. Some people are leaving comments without leaving right. a vote. They, I don't know if they knew, noticed that they, they had to yeah, click you, on you it. You click on click one on the of face. those, man. Yeah. Come click on, on the, the cute face or click on T-Swift, you know, whichever one. Yeah, that was the first poll I did that I could put pictures on, that I put pictures on, and it worked out really well. It, I liked I their, like the was, way it looked for us. So, so thanks. Uh, yeah, we'll try to thanks, pick Zuck up Bucks. the theme and thanks, do it Facebook. Again. Uh, so anyways, I think, uh, that's all yeah. send in your emails, do yes. your iTunes reviews, go visit the website, like our Facebook page. And that's about it. Have a great week. Yeah. Just remember one thing. Disclaimer. They don't know shit. You guys have a good night. See ya. Bye. By failure, don't start so I can't finish. Big talk, a big spender, pretend to stand spinach. Pop out with a pipe. I am what I thought I was. Middle management type. Somebody coddle us. Dumb body issues. Excuses are like assholes. I would have dropped it away, but losing is a hassle. Came for the benefits, stayed for the job. Claim to be a medalist, portrayed as a slob. Reach another settler. Misery is king. These creatures call me meddler. Mystery machine. And this'll be the thing day. Play it my wake day. Play it my trade. Stay awake and be brave. Not worth the effort. Save yourself the heartbreak. I get an effing effort. Left guessing the hard way. On dubs, when I cold in my blood, old dude in the club. Drank old fluid in cups, sold music on dubs, when I cold in my blood, old dude in the club. Heart is just some likes, my friends is my followers. Heart is just a life, let to find something hollow. Saw like pit in my stomach, gateway to Hades. I'm built to be the lummox, made a way to hate me. Curse with charisma, worse than being humble. First in this bubble, fuck around, start a royal rumble, spoil with the mumbles. I'll cut you down to lumbers. I wonder what happened, had a passion for these numbers. Spend my summers covered, pasty complexion. I'm known to be the bummer, race for rejection, critical to a fault. Line my walls with twine, connecting all these dots, find all the problems mine. But this time's for the makers, no more hustling, just creating. No mama cutting just to pace it, touch your bases in a musty basin. Must have been the places we never. I got to visit, went from crushing something vicious to busking for a listen, back from the back of the club, come to district, kiss our own asses, as we pass the exit, go miss it. Drank old fluid in cups, sold music on dubs, went a cold in my blood, old dude in the club. Winning cups, soul music on dubs, winning cold in my blood, old dude in a club.